also it is it's 25 past 10 and it's already that hot in the room that I'm sweating you look outside that's just baking utterly utterly baking I can't believe people live here I can't believe there's water I just to turn this up and get sand anyways time to go to the negative I call like this point on the sat nav because I'm basically going to be off sat nav and off record so um, what's that Obi-Wan use the force oh okay so I've parked the car there's Sparky parked the car and I know that somewhere around here is double negative it's slightly weird walking towards an art piece and I don't know where it is but it's all quite interesting so um, I'm also just slightly suspicious that nothing appears to be alive out of it which is a good thing in a way because I was a bit paranoid there'd be rattlesnakes but it doesn't even seem there's a couple of very lost looking butterflies but Lord only knows what they eat but there seems to be a path so I'm going to follow this and see what happens I can't see anything that looks like a big hole just yet but it's at the edge of the Mesa this is this Mesa which is this huge flat I assume this was the bottom of a river and the, the Virgin River which is the river there has flooded the, both sides of it out and this used to just be flatland it's just a big old flat lump of rock ideal for making holes in say hello to the people in the plain anyways in a bit the great thing about this walk is there's been so many false positives. Every time you see a little bit of the Mesa missing from the edge, which is probably the reason. Then you look at that over there, two big perfect straight lines, and that, and I'm on it. I found it. I'm about a mile away from where I parked the car, taking a big crazy walk circle. But yay, here we are, double negative. Hell yeah, it's proper. I mean, how is that? How special is that? Just walking back now from double negative, that light you can possibly see in the distance. Hello. Just walking back now from double negative, that light, shining little light you can see in the distance is sparky. I reckon he's about a mile and a half away. I've got to go back because I'm utterly parched, but it's just fascinating walking around the desert because I first got out of the car and when I was doing the first bit, this huge condor flew above me and just, because obviously this Mesa, I mean, you can see off the edge. And also the sort of how high this must have been and how this probably was caused out by whatever whatever this river was. But like every now and then a little um, a little lizard will scamper across and you won't hear it. The condor flies overhead and you won't hear it. And even even this little bird that there's quite a few of and the, and the butterflies. Um, they don't make a sound. And I've got my big clod up the feet and I do. And if it weren't for the wind, you know, you say there's no rain here, but I bet there's no noise. And I suppose that's because after a while the noise is just a certain waste of energy and around here the energy is just an, such an absolute premium. Um, double negative was awesome. It's just on so many levels. There were, it's a real feeling of, of vandalism to it um, and of damage. But you can make the argument because of the location there's a mitigation but then you can make the argument that it's art and there's a consumptive element to all art. Then you, the notion that it's falling apart, the notion that one end is of a different height to another end, that end is much steeper, that end is a really different rock. And there is a fundamental geological element to it, and a geographical element, and a, a biological element, because the species that are in there are different to these. These are all, I think these are all tumbleweed, or the things that become tumbleweed. But it's noticeable here, because it's more exposed, they're much lower, you've got the odd one that's higher, but it's a stronger plan. But in the, in the cut itself, you've got flowers, um, bushes, much more colour. This is very, this is very samey. This is almost like gorse or something or heather in Scotland. Whereas in the actual dish, in the actual cut, it's different. And that's, that's, I mean, obviously there's much more shade and possibly even more water. Um, there's also a really interesting archaeological element, um, a bit speleological as well, because the cross sections introduce a whole geographical element to it, but some of the differences in the rock and the strata, um, particularly some of the, the ones that seem to be lined up vertically, um, give it a real sort of sense of church. There's a real sort of 
pipe organ slash spire slash huge column support sort of thing. And that's that's really powerful. Um, it was hard to tell as well, I mean, just as a piece, like whether I should see one end or both ends. I've opted for both because it seemed pointless to come this far and not do it. But yeah, that's it, that's the next thing for you. All right, I'm back into town, gonna go to the diner. Gotta do a bit of cliche, get myself a Coke or a lemonade or something, and um, I'm gonna head on up back into Nevada. Not sure where I'm gonna go tonight, I don't think I'll make Bonneville. Um, I might try Bonneville. Well, I'll probably go through Bonneville, maybe Saturday. But we'll see, we'll see. It's uh, 12 o'clock, means with knives, we're about to start playing their last ever, well, publicly available gig. I might have to send the boys a text as well. All right, catch you later.